The one advice I want to give you as a blockchain developer and that helped me a lot during my initial stage when I was getting into the industry. This is the strategy I follow to build my portfolio quickly and to get the that quick flavor of the industry so I can introduce myself in the industry and I can see that what exactly is happening. So this is what I have done. So whenever you are building any project, no matter you are working on your portfolio or whether you are taking a freelancing or a side gig for your clients, working on an e-commerce, NFT marketplace, taking DAB, ERC20 token, decentralized exchange, no matter whatever application you are working on, never ever try to build everything from scratch when you are starting up. And even you are an experienced developer, never try to build everything from scratch. Because if you look at the industry, if you look at the application which is available, you will find the similar project, similar code structure. What do you have to do to become a smart developer? If some, if a client come up to you and he tells you that he wants NFT marketplace, so you have to take his requirement that what he exactly want in the NFT marketplace, whether he wants you to build only smart contract, whether he wants you to connect the smart contract with the blockchain or whether he wants to make the entire front end part, entire back end part, what are the technology, what are the features he want in his NFT marketplace. So first try to take all the information from him. Once you have the information, then sit down and try to analyze that to bring all of those functionality what are the tools what are technology you're going to utilize it because right now you have alternative for every single thing you can go with the mongodb as a database we have other provider for the smart contract development you can go with ganache you can go with hard hat or you can simply use remix id for development so first you have to analyze that what is your requirement for development of the project once you lay down the entire structure that i'm going to use mongodb as a backend he wants me to build an authentication system where user can simply create the login, logout, forget password, and email. These are the few things he want. He wants me to build a smart contract. Okay. He wants to build me a simple smart contract for NFT marketplace where user can list NFT, buy NFT, sell NFT. That's the only feature he wants in the NFT marketplace because the contract can be more complex. It can be bidding. It can be communication. It can be direct reward system. It can be very complex. So first you have to take the entire information about the project. After that, you don't need to write you don't need to start coding straight away after that you have to look for the similar code base structure so if i were you and if someone's come to me to build a particular NFT marketplace right now a lot of projects come to me i never try to build everything from scratch i try to look at all the projects which i have worked in the past if i don't find any project then i do search no matter what your client requirement is you will find similar code structure similar project maybe it's different in implication but you can easily be able to pick those features those functionality and you can simply implement in your code base you can do the modification you can deliver that's what i want you to do so some of you guys have asked me that like we have a lot of project on our channel if i build those project can i include that in my portfolio yes obviously you have built that you can include when you will sit for an interview don't tell that i follow this particular tutorial just do a modification try to understand every single thing which is there in the application and be in the interview Sit in the interview and explain that this is what I have built. Your understanding is more important. When you will get into the industry, automatically these things will become very easy because you're going to work on that over and over again. So this is the strategy I follow to get into myself in the industry for the very first time. Because I come from a non-technical background. I know I was, I was hiding that. So what I did, I started building on my portfolio. I built three or four projects and I used the same structure. I found the code. I did the modification. I used a little bit of modification to make it compatible. And that's how I get into the interview. And there I can explain that this is what I have used and this is what I have built. So this should be your strategy. This should be your strategy because the more project you will build, the faster you will build, the good developer you can be because you don't need to spend much time building the basic functionality. If someone's tell you to build a slider in the front end part, you're not going to code everything because there is a library available. There is a pre-code exist available. You can simply copy the code or you can use the chat GPT. You can do the modification as per your design and simply put that in the application but always understand one thing that you have to understand that what you are implementing so when you are copying anything from airbnb anywhere simply understand and put in your project put in your project make it work that's the most important thing the first and the foremost rule i follow when i get into the project or build anything that i have to make it work that's my first priority once the application is running fine then i focus on the optimization after that, I move to the security. So I have these three stage, which I simply follow. First, I have to make it work. Then I have to optimize and then I have to look for the security. So you have to make it work no matter like whose code you are picking up in your project. 
no one is going to look at that you are presenting the project you know this is how it work and you can simply get into the industry so just try to get yourself into the industry as quick as possible and that only will happen when you will work on your project so there is tons of project we have on the channel make sure to follow that put in your resume give interview give interview then you will understand that what is the requirement in the industry so that's the only thing i would suggest you that work on your project and don't try to code everything from scratch because no one does that like i know a lot of developer they are in the high position but they don't write everything from scratch like they see the optimization process they they, they build some complex design system but they not going to code everything from scratch the code base is already there all you have to do is to find the right code base for your project for your system which you can optimize and which you can make it fit into the project so that should be your strategy i want you to add more project into your portfolio and try to understand everything because once you will understand that will make more sense and that way you will able to deliver to your client because once you copy something some smart contract some logic you have to know that what is going on because once you understand even you can optimize even further you can add more feature into that and in that way you can charge more from your client so that's the way you have to think and develop your project because no one is coding from scratch right now all the developer working in the like big company they all do copy paste do do the modification and make the thing work so that should be your strategy try to build find relevant resources and then look at the resources after that start building first look at the resources what do you exactly want because sometimes what happen that you have no idea that what you exactly building i have seen a lot of a lot of young developer who just get into the field of development and they start building but they don't have the idea so first take the idea analyze that what you are exactly building and it will automatically give you a lot of options and it will make your development fast because you already know that what you are building and you can easily able to find the relevant code bases which you can simply integrate in your system so that's how you have to develop if someone tell you to build a login functionality you're not going to build everything from scratch because there is a code structure there is a well industry in standard structure code base are there which you can simply import and utilize in the functions and simply make it login and authentication system so that should be your strategy again this is how you have to think and that's how you have to simply progress the more you will build the better understanding you will have and the better understanding you will have like you can is able to present yourself better and you can pitch to your client that this is what i have built you can show to your client that this is what i have built and if you want me to build this particular application i can build that because this is what i have okay so just just try to build project that will teach you a lot so that's the only advice i want to give you i hope you guys have got an understanding that how you have to think how you have to plan your application and how you have to build faster don't spend too much time on a single project on a single system just try to make think faster Just may try to make things faster, and that will help you a lot in the long run. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.